Hi there, and welcome to week six of Nutrition Bites. So today we are going to talk about a beverage that can also double as a snack um, called pomegranate chia tea. So first we'll talk about the ingredients in the recipe, then we'll talk a little bit about hydration, and then the benefits of chia seeds and some other ways to use chia seeds in your cooking. And then we'll talk about benefits of green tea and then end with the weekly challenge. All right, so this is a recipe for pomegranate chia tea. It's absolutely delicious and it's super easy. Uh, so you just use one to two green tea bags and then some unsweetened pomegranate juice, or you could use any other type of unsweetened juice or even crushed fruit. And you mix it together with the chia seeds and kind of let them gel and voila, you have a delicious beverage. Okay, let's talk a little bit about hydration. Uh, hydration is super important for overall health and well being. Uh, it's needed to maintain our body temperature, it helps to keep our joints lubricated, it can deliver nutrients to our cells, and it also just helps to keep our organs functioning properly. So, how much water should we be drinking every day? Well, there are a couple of rules of thumb that you can use to figure this out. Uh, so, if you look at the daily dozen, that recommendation is to aim for at least 60 ounces of water daily. Daily, and that can come from water or you know herbal teas, green teas, things like that. Another way that you can do it is to take your body weight and then divide it in two and that's how many ounces you should drink. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you should aim to drink about 75 ounces of water. So a great goal would be anywhere between 60 ounces and 75 ounces of water every day. All right, let's talk about the benefits of chia seeds. So chia seeds are a great source of plant protein. They also contain fiber, uh, which can help with diarrhea. That can also help to manage our blood sugars. They're also a good source of omega-3s, and which has been correlated for uh, good brain health, things like that. All right, so you don't just have to use chia seeds in this tea recipe. You can use it in many other ways. Uh, you can make a chia pudding. You can blend chia seeds into your smoothies. You can use a chia egg in baking. Uh, you can make chia jam. You can add it into your oatmeal, and you can also use it in your salad dressings and sauces. And in the article version of this, I will link some recipes for some of these ideas here. All right, let's talk about the benefits of green tea. So green tea is a great source of antioxidants and phytochemicals, uh, specifically polyphenols, which have been shown to have kind of anti-cancer uh, effects. Uh, there also has been some research to show that green tea may help to increase metabolism. Uh, it's also been associated with longevity, so a lot of uh, individuals in the blue zones, if you've heard of that, um, do drink green tea on a regular basis. Uh, and it's also a fairly low caffeine content, so it's about one-third to that of a, a regular cup of coffee. But if you don't like green tea, there are other teas that you can still enjoy in this recipe and still get similar benefits, and that includes black teas, herbal teas, and spiced teas. So this week was super short and sweet, um, but hopefully it's a simple habit to add into your daily routine. So this week I'd like to challenge you to add, try adding three cups of green tea to your week, or even try replacing your morning coffee with tea. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next time.